So this drill is our impact drill. It's going to give you a better understanding of where you want to be at the actual striking position when you're striking the golf ball. Again, some problems that we see a lot with amateurs, beginners, higher handicappers. Some classic impact mistakes when it deals with your hands, arms, and golf club. We'll see a lot of early releasing, causing the impact position to basically look like this, where you get the handle well behind the golf ball. Typically, there's some weight still back on the right side. And you'll see a tremendous cupping of the left wrist. Many people do this and think something else is going on in their golf swing. Head's coming up, that's why I'm topping it. This is very, very common with amateurs, beginners, higher handicappers. By cupping my left wrist, even if I were to strike the ball cleanly, usually it's probably, have, it's probably gonna have to be teed up, I could potentially hit it straight, but it's not gonna go anywhere. When the ball's on the ground in the fairway, and you're really struggling topping shots or chunking them, this a lot of times is what's causing it, just not the proper understanding of the impact position. So what we want to see in a good impact position, obviously is some good body motion, weight shifting, rotating against the left side. And we also want to have the left arm, as it comes down to the impact position, we want to have the left wrist flattening or in a slightly bowed position. This is where you'll see a lot of great ball strikers. All right, so this is a big difference between this position and this position, okay? Again, this is going to cause a lot of very heavy shots hitting six, seven inches behind the ball or brutally topping it, all right? So using the slinger with this impact drill, what we can do is practice going to, again, a halfway back or three-quarter position, utilizing the correct sequence of motion on the downswing. Shift back onto the front foot, followed by your rotation. What we're going to do with this drill is we're literally going to swing it down to impact and hold. Okay, what we're looking for at the impact position is we want the left arm and the club shaft to line up with a flat left wrist, okay? The Slinger product is excellent because it allows for perfect impact positions, great results. If you have just the slightest bit of bow to your left wrist, tremendous results. What it does not allow is you to come back to this position. It's gonna spill out way early or if it happens to stay in, it's gonna go big time left. All right, so again, Halfway back, three quarter, small shift to get you started, followed by rotation. Left arm, club shaft line up. I'll show you with the ball. You see the ball comes, the ball's gonna come out of the slinger when the shaft and the left arm line up together at impact, which is, which is classical impact position in all great ball strikers. 